Today I wanna to talk about the journey to make your dreams come true. If you're watching this, I'm literally gonna tell you, it doesn't matter where you're at in your life, whether you're at the beginning or you're near the end, I wanna show you what it truly takes to get to that next level. Now, every level has its own problems, it has its own benefits, and it especially has its own sacrifices. So I wanna walk you through the journey from beginning to end on your path to really making your dreams come true. My name is Marcel Klein, I'm the best hypnotist in the world, and I'm gonna show you how to reprogram your mind in this video to go through every single step. So let's begin at the start. At the start, you don't even know what you really want. You have a small idea of the fact that you wanna maybe make more money, you maybe wanna have more success in your dating life, you wanna be a little bit healthier than you are or in better shape, or maybe you're in horrible health, and you wanna just get back to feeling healthy. Wherever you're at in the starting point, there's a lot of fear involved because you've never been to that outcome. Because you've never accomplished the goal, the mind starts to make excuses. It says, I don't know how to get there, and what if I never do? So it convinces you not to take action. I gave this example a while back, and I'd like to share it with you. When I was younger, I had almost no money in my bank account. This is the starting point for me. And this story, actually this experience, changed my entire perspective. So I have $5 left, period. That's all I had for the week. And I could either spend it on gas or I could spend it on something else. So I pull up to the gas station and there's this massive sign that says there's a $200 million lottery. And I thought about maybe buying a ticket. I'm like, what if I buy this lottery ticket? And I spent about 10 minutes debating whether or not I should spend $2 or $2.50 on this lottery ticket. And finally, I came to the decision to buy it. So I buy this lottery ticket, I drive home, and I'm dealing with a little bit of regret, a little bit of uncertainty. Why did I spend that on a lottery ticket instead of my gas? Anyways, a few days go by and I remembered that I had this one lottery ticket. And I thought to myself, why should I even go to the gas station and waste more gas to see if I won? I think it'd be a waste of time. And I'm having this internal battle. Inside, part of me felt like I really shouldn't go because I was in scarcity. I was like, I have no more money for gas. I have no way I can go. If I spend this money here, I'm not gonna be able to go somewhere else. And finally, I made the decision to just get in the car and I said, what do I have to lose? Okay, another gallon of gas, whatever. So I drive down to the gas station and I'm in the car. I'm even debating whether or not I should get out of the car to go check if the winning lottery ticket's in my hand. And finally, I get out of the car I go check, I give it to the guy, he takes it, he scans it, and it goes, eh, I didn't win. So I went home and I tried to turn that very big disappointment into a win, and I did. And the mindset that clicked for me is that everybody has a winning lottery ticket. I realized that I truly have a winning lottery ticket, and that winning lottery ticket is my belief in myself. If I don't believe that I will accomplish my dream, I will never make it happen. So you sitting there, step number one is not just to envision the outcome, but your number one problem is that you may not believe it's possible because at the beginning, you are furthest away from your dreams than you will ever be. So if you just understand that one day these dreams will come true, then you would take action and start working on yourself. So it's the decision to start your dreams. Once you've made that decision, you move into the next phase of your journey, and that is personal growth. Personal growth is the part of your journey where you start to develop your confidence, you start to work on your mindset, and you encounter a lot of problems. You start sharing your goals and your dreams with your friends or your family, and they look at you and they tell you you're crazy. They tell you it's not possible. I don't remember anyone telling me dropping out of college to go to medical school, dropping out of that completely would be a great idea and give it up for being a public speaker or a hypnotist. Nobody told me that was a great idea. Everyone said, are you fucking crazy? What are you doing? Everybody said I was crazy. So I had to really develop the confidence in myself to ignore what everyone else was saying. And slowly, slowly, I started to cut off all the friends that doubted me. Every time I did something, they would have nothing good to say. They'd always say what was wrong, this wasn't good enough, you sound cringy, you're embarrassing us, leave us alone. And I didn't like being around them, so I started to be alone. That's why they say the journey to success is often lonely. It's lonelier because you let go of the friends that are holding you down. Oftentimes, these people in our lives could be our parents if you stay and you live at home. 
It could be your wife, your spouse, your husband. These are people who don't believe in your vision. So you have to let them go so you can truly focus on what you want. The only people I have around me are people who are rooting me on, cheering me on, and supportive. And if they're not, I just don't like to be around them. Even now, I don't like people who doubt me. I have big goals and a big vision. And I wanna make sure that whoever is in my life is supportive of that. The next step in your journey is sacrifice. It is really hard to walk away from people you've known your whole life. It is really hard to walk away from your family. It is very hard to give up the habits and the short-term comfort of your job and the gratification of everything that you've been doing. You have to give up what you've done to change the outcome. If you continue to do what you've done, your life won't look any different. So if you wanna make more money, you might have to start that business that you're scared to start. If you wanna actually become healthier, you might have to give up all those nights at nice restaurants, those nights out with your friends, the beer, the alcohol. You're gonna have to give up those habits and start going to the gym. You might not be able to stay up till 12 o'clock anymore. You'll have to go to sleep at nine so you could wake up at six, go to the gym and then start your journey. Right? If you wanna truly go to that next level, you're gonna have to sacrifice who you were for who you wanna be. And what that sacrifice looks like could be your habits, your routine, your diet, your behavior, your job, your friends, even being around your family or not studying or dropping out of college. There are so many sacrifices that you have to be willing to make. And when you make those sacrifices, what you're really saying to your brain is, I'm all in on my dreams. I made a lot of sacrifices. I truly dropped out of college. I gave up a lot of friends. I was one of the most popular kids out of high school and early years of college. I was so fucking popular. I had everything I wanted in terms of social life. I had a better social life then than I had for the beginning of my entire entrepreneurial journey. Like it took me four or five years to even get close to where I was socially at the beginning. And that's because I gave up all these friends that were not gonna help me go to that next level and I've run into a lot of them. One of them works at Subway now. One of them literally is homeless. The other one's dead because he overdosed on drugs. I mean, I have a lot of friends from that friend group and unfortunately they didn't grow. They stayed the same or even got worse. So you're gonna be around people, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, family, that are gonna try and hold you back. You have to be willing to sacrifice them. I believe this is the hardest part of the journey because we don't wanna let go of the past. The past is comfortable. The people in our life, they make us feel good. And to let go of that for something that you desire, that is the ultimate contract. That's the ultimate commitment to your future. If you are willing to walk away, I mean, I, I had a girl, and I'm gonna be super vulnerable here with you, I had a girl I was in love with. I mean, love that I had never felt. Love that if, if I had to die for this person, maybe even now, I probably would still do it. That's how much I love this person. And I had to walk away from a relationship with them because it was sacrificing my dream. My dream is to change lives. It's to change your life. It's to change lives all over the world. And it was just taking too much energy and too much focus and too much time. It wasn't the healthiest relationship and it was taken away from my dreams and I had to sacrifice it to continue to pursue my goals. And when I sacrificed it, I truly waited till the end. I had like $800 left in my bank account and I, I broke up with this girl. I flew back home because it was overseas and in the first three days of being back home, I made my first million dollar client. I, I sold the first person for a million dollars, my one-on-one -on -one client. And it just goes to show you that sometimes you don't see the reward when you're making the sacrifice. And even if it took another year or two years or three years, I would still do it again because nothing to me is more important than my dream. And when you make these sacrifices early on, I walked away from friends. I walked away from college. I walked away from my family for a little bit to make this dream come true. There's no way I'll get to a point where I'm in a relationship and I give up on my dreams. I will never give up on my dreams no matter what. And if you are someone who truly dreams big enough and you get to this point of sacrifice, you have to be willing to make the sacrifice for your dream. Now the next part, once you've made these sacrifices, you start to get those wins. You start to see yourself succeeding. Your business starts to make money. You start to see yourself getting healthier. You start to actually attract the people in your life that you want. You start having some wins. Now, just because you have some wins doesn't mean you're always gonna win. There's no such thing actually more money, more problems, that's a fact. Why? Because you're doing more. So let's say out of every 100 actions you take, one of them causes a problem. Well, when you become more successful, you're doing, if it's not you directly, it might be your employees or your team or a group of people around you, you're doing a thousand times more than you were doing before. So if it took one out of 100 actions to cause a problem, now you're taking a thousand actions, you're gonna have, you know, about 
10 problems or maybe even 100 problems when you go to 10,000 actions and it just continues to grow that way. The more successful you are, the more problems are there. But again, that's a sacrifice you must be willing to make to reach your dream. Suddenly, you've got momentum, you're making money and life is going well, you're winning. And then you hit this bigger win, this win that sets you apart from everybody else around you. Let's say you're an athlete, finally got the college scholarship or you're on your way to the NBA, that's the big win. There are these bigger wins you start to hit where your brain goes, oh shit, I am not like everybody else. And then you double down. This is where people fail. So often you find people fail right here. They made their million dollars, their company starts doing well, and this is where they start to give up on all the things that they were doing to get here. They start to fall off, they start to party, they get into bad habits and routines, they do drugs, they do all this shit that fucks them over, and suddenly they've given up on their dream. This is the mistake, you are one step away. And sometimes when you get to this point is where the biggest problems arise. You're gonna have the biggest wins. You may also have the biggest problems, the biggest bills, the biggest headaches, the biggest lawsuits. That's when it shows up. I was working with a company and they started to really crush, they're doing over a million a month. And the biggest competitor in their space decided to file a lawsuit against them. Their lawyer fees were over a million dollars a month. That's what they were making and their lawyer fees were a million dollars a month. And their competitor was making $250 million a year. So it's very easy for them to go and sue this company. Now, they had to either fail and fold or step up and truly succeed. And that's exactly what they did. And now they're a very successful company and they're growing exponentially. I can tell you now, there will be a situation when you hit this big win. It could be an injury, it could be a heartbreak, it could be a loss, it could just be a massive financial problem or a burden. You have to realize you are just one step away from living your dream. Do not give up. If you got all the way here where you start having bigger wins, and that means you're getting more and more wins, you do not give up. And finally, you reach your dreams and you wake up one morning, you realize that when you started, there was a version of you that wanted to be here and didn't even know if it would be reality. And suddenly, it is your reality. It is exactly what you've envisioned your entire life. And finally you wake up and you are living the dream. And I can tell you, when you get there, it doesn't just feel good. It feels a thousand times better than you could have imagined. So many people don't tell you what it feels like when you make your dream come true. It fucking feels exactly how you think it would times a million. It is the most incredible feeling on the planet. There is nothing more fulfilling than truly making your dream come true, than having an idea in your mind and bringing it to the world because you went through every motherfucking problem. You went through every situation and you still came out the other side a victor. You sacrificed things. You were consistent. You were motivated and you made it fucking happen. Now, you might be sitting there feeling that self-doubt. You might have a problem that has just come up and you're right there, you don't know what you're gonna do. Or you're at the beginning of your journey. It does not matter where you're at. I am going to help you. I have helped companies in the billions of dollars that are about to crash and burn and they came out way better than before. And I've helped people who haven't even, even begun their journey. Whether you just started or you're already at that pinnacle, I wanna help you go to that next level and truly thrive. So if you want to work with me, I'm happy to take care of you and help you out. Here's how we're going to make it happen. You're going to click that link in my description right there. It's going to say apply on it. Apply to work with Marcel. You click on that link, fill out your information. You're going to get on the call with me or someone from my team. And we're going to invite you, depending on where you're at, what level you're at, to a program, an online course, a seminar, or potentially one of my more advanced masterminds. For all of you that are watching this, I'm so happy you got to this point because that tells me that if you could sit through a video about your dreams, Odds are you're probably willing to do whatever it takes to make your dream reality. So again, make sure you click on that link and apply to work with me here. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Share this with some friends so when you start to make wins, they do it with you. Oftentimes they don't even know what's possible. They grew up in an environment where success was completely a fantasy. It's they got lucky in a bunch of limiting beliefs. Send us to them so they can see it and grow with you. And without further ado, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video.